Strategic Intervention Material in Science 4 The title is Materialistic This strategic intervention material or scene aims to provide the pupils with a learning experience that could give them the opportunities to enhance and strengthen their scientific skills and values through understanding the contents of the subject on its simplest way. Hello kids! I'm Teacher Steffi. Did you know that matter can be grouped based on their properties? Some are confused. Can you help us answer some activities? This is our main objective. Classify materials based on their ability to absorb water, float, sink, and undergo decay. The first mission is to describe materials based on the ability to absorb water. The second mission is to identify the materials that float and sink. The third mission requires knowledge of identifying the materials that undergo decay. Properties of matter there are different materials in our environment that can be classified according to their properties. They can be classified based on their ability to absorb water. Some materials can absorb water more than others. Porous materials have small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. Some of the examples are sponge, cotton, rug, tissue, and towel. Non-porous materials do not allow air or liquid to pass through. Some of the examples of non-porous materials are rock, rubber bands, plastic cup, plastic bag, and bottle. Properties of matter Some things float in water, some things stay submerged part way down, and some things sink. Some things float at first, but then sink as they absorb water through holes. An object shape can affect its ability to float, but some materials float no matter what their shape, like a styrofoam and balsa wood. Float means to stay on top of the water. Some of the examples of materials that float are toy boat, styro, plastic bottles with cover, pencil, and the wood. Sink means to fall from the bottom of a water. Some of the examples of materials that sink are coin, metal spoon, and rock. Properties of matter Decay means to be slowly destroyed into bits in the presence of water, air, and soil. Some factors that contribute to the decaying process of the materials are sunlight, water, soil, and action of microorganisms. Some materials that undergo decay are bread, leaves, fruits, and leftover foods. Activity card number one. Identify the following terminologies of the properties of matter by arranging the jumbled letters. You can do that. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Activity card number 2. Complete the following words by filling up the missing letters. There are given letters and pictures to guide you to complete the name. So don't worry. Number 1, number 2, number 3, 
Number 4 Number 5 Activity card number 3 Sort the following materials based on their ability to absorb water as porous and non-porous by writing the words in their proper column. These are the materials that you can choose. Activity card number 4 Identify the pictures if it will float or it will sink. Write your answer inside the box opposite the picture. I know you can do this. Go! Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 Number 5 Activity card number 5 among the materials enlisted in the box below, fill up the table as decaying materials and non-decaying materials. You can make it. These are the choices that you can choose. Assessment card number one. Write fact if the statement is correct, then bluff if the statement tells wrong information. Number 1. There are different materials in our environment that can be classified according to their properties. Number 2. An object shape can affect its ability to float, but some materials float no matter what their shape is, such as styrofoam and balsa wood. Number 3. All plants and animals decay at the same time. Number 4. Leftover foods are kept in refrigerators to avoid delay spoilage. Number 5. Cotton is a non-porous material. Assessment card number 2. Identify the terms being described from the following statements. Write only the letters of the correct answer that can be found inside the box. A. Porous materials B. Non-porous materials C. Floating materials D. Sinking materials E. Decay Number 1. These are materials that do not allow air or liquid to pass through. Number 2. Materials that fall at the bottom of water. Number 3. It means slowly destroyed into bits in the presence of water, air, and soil. Number 4. These are materials having small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. Number 5. Materials that stay on top of the water. Enrichment card number 1. Analyze the following. Find what is missing in the blank by looking the right answer in the box. Tissue, plastic bag, balsa wood, floating material, non-porous material. Number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5. Enrichment card number 2. Color the porous materials as yellow and non-porous materials as green. Did you know, plastic bags takes around 300 years to photodegrade. 
almost 31% of our total generated waste is paper. Recycling one glass bottle saves enough electricity to light a 100 watt bulb for 4 hours. Thank you! Prepared by yours truly, Mrs. Stephanie M. Salom, the proponent of strategic intervention material in Science 4 entitled Materialistic.